Hello friends, welcome to Nanaba's Kitchen. Today we are preparing dinner under 30 minutes. And we're going to be making chicken kebabs right here in our oven. We're going to be using a spice rub inspired by our West African suya or yaji spice mix. Now, here's the key though. We're going to be using alternative ingredients. So let's wash our hands and then after that, we're going to talk about the ingredients, including those alternative ingredients and then we can get started. So. So friends, the main ingredient in suya spice mix is peanut flour, roasted that is. Now, I have a video on how I make kuli kuli, which is how we actually derive the peanut flour in West Africa. You can watch it and you can make it that way or you can just go to the store or get it from amazon.com, this peanut flour right here. So here is the store-bought roasted peanut flour. And I'm going to be using eight tablespoons full of it to make a big batch of the suya spice mix, but I'll only use a bit of the spice mix for this recipe. That's a teaspoon of granulated onion, followed by a teaspoon of granulated garlic. And then I also have one tablespoon full of dry ginger powder. Now this is half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I want this mixture to be mild. And to get more chili flavor without the heat, I've added some chili flakes. This is the Korean kind, so it has no heat. Now I'm also adding some salt. Then I have some chicken seasoning as well, which is also going to really help us season this. Spice mix. Perfect, now I'm going to be adding my pepper soup mix. I have the video on how I make, I make this, and it's linked below in the description box. And I'm using half a teaspoon of it. Pour that all in there and then shake until everything is well combined. And you have a big batch of suya spice mix. Perfect. We're only gonna be needing three heaping tablespoons full of it for this recipe. So the rest we will reserve and store in the pantry and it stays in the pantry for months. Now for the bamboo skewers, they are bone dry. So we need to hydrate them. Make sure you submerge them in water and set them aside while they soak up the water so they don't burn um, in the oven. While that's going on, we're going to melt some butter because we will be introducing the butter into the recipe and that's half a stick of butter. Now for the vegetables, I'm using bell peppers and onion. You may use any color you want. I'm using green and red today. Just cut them up into bite-sized pieces. They will also be going onto the skewer, so don't cut them up too small. You'll do the same with the onion. And separate the layers, and you're done prepping your vegetables. Perfect. Now for the chicken, I'm going to be using both the dark meat portions and white meat portions. So I have the breast and I also have the thigh. They've been deboned and de-skinned. Also any excess fat have been removed and cut into bite-sized pieces. And of course, they've been washed thoroughly. Now I pour the suya spice mix on them and also some of the melted butter. This is going to be helping uh, the suya spice mix to stick to the chicken. So it's gonna act as the glue. The rest of the butter and the rest of the suya spice mix get combined and they will be used to baste uh, the chicken kebabs as they cook. Now you want to massage your chicken pieces so that you can combine every ingredient perfectly and then start sticking your ingredients to the stick. Just like that. And you want to put vegetables in between the chicken pieces. And as it cooks, the vegetables will release their flavor into the chicken and vice versa. And it just becomes so delicious. Also, some steam will be released from the, uh, the vegetables into the meat to help keep them nice and moist and juicy. Now, in the um, sheet pan, I have some water in there because when it goes into the oven, it will generate some steam. Uh, which will also help to keep the chicken nice and moist because we all know that chicken breast especially can dry out and we don't want that 
So into the oven it goes. For the first 10 minutes, using 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the highest uh, heat setting in my oven. So we're actually using the broil option. So after 10 minutes, you want to go back in there and um, flip them and baste them as well and let them continue to cook another 10 minutes and voila 20 minutes is all it takes to cook these to perfection and I served it with some yellow rice and some salad and let me tell you the chicken was juicy oh my gosh bursting with flavor you absolutely have to try this quick easy dinner idea and you would love it I thank you so much for watching and for your love and support. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen.